Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video and this time it is a story time video about my latest creeper alert story. I feel like every woman has at least one creeper a year. But um, if not a year, then definitely at least one in her lifetime. But if you want to hear the most recent story of the stuff that I have to go through just to make some coins, then stay tuned. So I mentioned before that I have a job, but I've never actually said the name of my place of employment. And it's not me trying to be like, you know, funny or anything like that. It's just that their contract is funny and what you can and cannot say about them on social media. And I've seen the stupid things that people have gotten in trouble for by mentioning them. So I'm just like, I'm just going to avoid all problems by not saying the name at all. Can't catch me slipping if I never say the actual name of the place. But I feel like if you follow me on Snapchat or if you've watched my Storytime Subway Brawl video, then you should be able to put two and two together on where I work. But I will say that it is a sporting event stadium here in New York. Now, being that it is a stadium, you do come across a lot of people. And I'm not even talking about the guests. Like, I can go on for days with stories that have happened with me with guests and drunk men by like the seventh inning that's another hint as to where i work um but i'm talking about like the people who actually work there in the different departments like guest relations customer service security and concessions um you meet a lot of people so i'm leaving the break room and i'm going back to work and i'm trying to avoid all guests and any of their questions because i don't want to help anybody and i'm walking this way and all of a sudden a body that's going this way turns me with them and like drapes their arm around my shoulder and I look up and it's this tall dude and he's smiling at me and I'm looking at him like but you know because I said like there are a lot of people who work there there have been moments in the past where like I've met someone and I don't remember that I've met them and I don't want to be that you ever go through that where you meet someone and like somewhere in your head you're like I remember meeting you but you don't want to be that asshole who says like I don't remember meeting you so you just kind of keep talking and hoping that you'll remember who they are so he's now looking down at me with his arm still around my shoulder and he's talking and I'm looking at him and I'm like nothing is ringing a bell here on me ever meeting you so I had to call it like it is I was like do I know you and he goes no so I was like do you just go around doing this to everyone in the stadium? And he was like, well, yeah, I mean, I'm a good looking guy. I can put a sentence together. I feel like who wouldn't want to talk to me? What? I was just so taken aback at how bold this dude was that I lost complete track of this conversation and I actually ended up giving him my real phone number. Like I walked away after he finally let go of me and I was just like, wait, wait a minute, no, no. You, you didn't you did not give him your real phone number like when I say I had that down together on that fake number when me saying I'm not interested isn't enough because sadly nowadays saying I'm not interested is not enough to get certain guys to leave you alone it can get you cursed out killed or worse um so I usually had that down pat but I was just I've never been in a situation where a dude was that bold like you're just gonna grab me out and over and start talking to me um that I was just I guess frazzled and I ended up saying like my real phone number but he did say that he's do he does this to anyone that he wants to talk to in the stadium so I was like maybe he won't actually call me so I go home that night and I get a text message and it was like hey when I say that is one of my biggest pet peeves when someone that I just meet like even if it's like a friend it's not even a dude that I'm interested in that I actually gave my real phone number to and they text and they're just like hey I'm like especially when they don't text you the same day that you give your phone number how am I supposed to know who this is hey so I don't answer because that, that's one of my pet peeves so I got a text message and it was like hey but it was the same night so I was assuming like damn he actually did text me but like I said, I didn't answer because I didn't know who it was. So the next day, the time is somewhere in the afternoon-ish, and I get a phone call from the number that had texted me the night before, and I didn't answer. And this is another pet peeve of mine. I hate when people don't leave voicemails when they call. Like, obviously what you had to say wasn't that important enough to, one, not let me know who it was, and two, not let me know why you were calling. So I didn't call back. I mean, I didn't bother calling, uh, answering, so I was going to call back anyway. But, anywho. So the next time I'm in the stadium, and mind you, this was the hottest day of the entire season i think the temperature was somewhere around like 109 degrees people were dropping like flies from how hot it was and i'm i'm black and it was hot i'm caribbean but i still can't deal with heat so i was irritated and i'm standing there and there's this guest who's like yelling at me because her son wanted frozen lemonade and we only had liquid lemonade 
those are the things that I deal with. Um, and he just comes up and he starts talking and I was So you, you don't see the guests standing here? You don't, you don't see me working? No, that, no, that, oh, okay. Um, so I ignored him and I continued letting this woman scream at me and she, I don't even know if I resolved what her issue was, but she left and she was there for like, she kept talking after he walked up for like a good five, ten minutes and she walks away and I turn and he's still standing there. So I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, I called you and you didn't answer. And I was like, I texted you too. So he was like, um, yo, you, you, you stupid, you crazy, whatever. And I was just like, okay. And he goes, add me on Instagram. My name is, uh, pretty, bo something, something boy, which mind you, I was just like, stop right there. All right. If your Facebook or Instagram name has something boy in it, gangsta boy, pretty boy, no, no thank you. Um, but I was just like, okay, cool. Bye. So the team is now away, which means that I'm off and I'm sitting at home and my phone rings and it's the same number that had texted me and called me previously. So obviously I didn't answer. And I would say, what, five seconds later, a blocked number calls me. I didn't answer the other number, so I'm damn sure not answering a blocked number. So I didn't answer. Two seconds later. blocked number calls later my phone finally stops ringing now obviously I have no proof because it was blocked number that it was him but I can guarantee you no one has ever called my phone repeatedly in a row five times when I didn't answer the first time and his number was the number that had called me right before the block number started so now I'm just like this 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 dude is crazy and I'm talking to my coworker now back at work and I've told him it's a guy everything that has happened with this guy like from me meeting him to the calls to the text to the block numbers to coming up to me at at work and he's like give me your phone so i give him my phone and he adds the number to my contacts i was like oh wait wait a minute pineapples what are you doing and he was like just watch so he adds the number in my contacts as stalker and then goes into my settings and blocks the number there's a point for me mentioning this in the story um so now I'm just like, all right, I got to be like a ninja throughout the stadium. If I see him, I am running in the opposite direction. So one day I'm walking through the stadium and I see a security guard that I'm cool with. Now this security guard likes to make fun of me and my resting bitch face because he says that I never smile. So whenever I see him, I just build up the corniest smile I can give him. And um, he laughs and I wave and go about my business. So I see him that day, and this day he was like, high five. So I give him a high five, and I keep walking. And I swear I hear like, so I don't get a high five? But it is a stadium with like 50,000 people in it, so I was like, maybe I just heard it, or maybe it was just some guest who was drunk and being stupid. So I keep walking, and I'm walking, and I hear it, so I don't get a high five, so I don't get a high five, so I don't get a high five, and I hear Shanine. And then I'm like, all right, this person behind me is obviously knows me so I turn around and it's him yeah the I, my neck still hurts to this day at how quick I turned back around and kept walking in the opposite direction now pause all right if you're a dude and you're chasing after a female I mean now at this point literally chasing after a female who has turned around and looked you in the eye saw that it was you and kept walking in the opposite direction wouldn't you isn't that a hint something no Okay, just me? Okay. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is where the attitude kicks in because I'm just, at this point, I'm so over it with this guy. I'm like, I shouldn't have to deal with this just because a guy can't comprehend it. I'm not interested. And he's like, Shanine, and I turn around and I'm like, what? And he goes, so I don't get a high five? And I was like, no! And I turn around and I keep walking the opposite direction. So I hear, let me talk to you as I keep walking and I keep walking. And then someone grabs someone grabs my arm and turns me around. If you haven't watched my uh, girl fight story, I made it very clear, don't, don't touch me. If I don't know you, don't touch me. If I don't like you, don't touch me. Just don't, 
don't don't do it to yourself so he goes what's your problem and now I'm heated and I said nothing else but let go of me right now and he does and I walk away and I see another security guard that I'm cool with and I come up to him to talk to him and he can see that I'm heated so he's like what's wrong so I'm telling him like the whole story everything that happened especially him just grabbing me in the middle of the stadium so he was like does he have whatever type of hairstyle, whatever, and he's a concession server? Uh, like, he starts describing the guy, and I was like, yeah, that's him. And he was like, oh, that's who's doing it? And I was like, you know who that is? And he was like, yeah. I mean, I don't know him like that, like we're friends, but I didn't, like, I know of him. I know enough that we've spoken a couple times. So I was like, well, your friend or not, tell him don't ever touch me again, ever. So he was like, I got you. And then I went off to the break room to go on my break. So I'm in the break room, still heated, and I'm sitting at a table with my coworkers, and I'm telling them what just happened. And there's a girl sitting at the table with my coworker, and she's like, wait, when you met him, did he like just randomly grab you and start talking to you like you knew each other? And I was like, yes she was like girl tell me why i just went through that yesterday when he randomly grabbed me at whatever section it was and he almost got sparta kicks in his throat i was like who are you just grabbing on so i'm listening to her literally telling me that she went through the same exact thing that i did and i was just like oh okay so he really is crazy and he really did mean it when he just walks around doing that to girls that he thinks wants to talk to him so now uh, we're leaving the break room together, me and this girl, and we bump into the security guard who I told him to leave that message to. He was like, I spoke to him and I told him that Shanine doesn't want you to speak to her and she doesn't want you to touch her. And his response was, was nobody worried about that whack bitch anyway. Whack? Bitch. See, here's the funny thing. You gotta love it when guys get in their feelings after you tell them that you're not interested and they break out these, oh, you're whack, you're fat, you're ugly. And what always makes me laugh is, if I'm whack now, I was whack when you approached me, right? If I'm ugly now, I was ugly when you approached me. If I'm fat now, I was fat when you approached me. So that leaves two things, two things here. One, either your self-esteem is that low that you would still pursue and literally chase down a female who you felt was below your standards and whack. Or two, your ego is hurt because I don't want you, so now you feel you have to say something to put me down to make yourself feel better, which is some bitch assness to me. So which one is it? can only be one. But that's fine. I'll be whack and I'll continue on about my business, which is what I was doing when you approached me in the first place. So we finished here and we done. Now, you would think story over, right? I mean, he obviously wouldn't want anything further to do with a whack bitch. And I was, I went on about my business. No, story is not over. I would say at least a month later, I'm on my phone. And this is when I had like just started using Snapchat. I log on and I see the little yellow ghost, whatever. And it says someone has added you and it says stalker added you by contact and I was like I, I like confused doesn't even begin to describe what I was feeling at that moment because I was like one how is that possible if I blocked his number and two why would you want to watch my snaps if I'm whack and you're not interested but um like I had to get answers on this, so I asked like my friends who had had Snapchat longer than I had, and they were like, yeah, it doesn't matter if you blocked the number, as long as that person has your number saved in their phone, they can add you um, through like Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, through their contacts. And I was just left like, I mean, I just... I just want to go to work and make money that's that's it I have seen him in the stadium since and there are moments where he looks like he wants to come up and talk to me but I just give him that look that's it don't 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 try it or me so that's it for this video I hope this story and the miseries of my life have brightened your day just a smidge make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one bye Baby.